It's disturbing how many pastors today are more interested in being accepted by celebrities and by mainstream culture than in being faithful to the simple truths of Scripture and the Gospel. Joel Osteen works very hard to not be offensive in any way, and because of this, he has made friends with many celebrities who would not want to be associated with pastors who actually preach the Gospel. Mariah Carey was happy to be a part of Osteen's service. Pastor Joel Osteen called on Mariah Carey and Tyler Perry to help him with his virtual Easter service. The televangelist broadcast from his empty Lakewood church in Houston, Texas on Saturday evening to celebrate Resurrection Day. Carey and Perry joined via taped pieces to wish viewers a happy Easter and offer messages of hope as the world battles COVID-19. Hi, Lakewood community. I'm Mariah Carey, and I'm so glad I could join you this Easter. We find ourselves in a unique time in history where we can't celebrate together in person, and I'm grateful that so many of us are staying home and staying safe. But Mariah Carey is extremely pro-LGBTQ and even accepted an Ally Award by GLAAD. So we got L, legendary, <laughs> G, gorgeous, <laughs> B, beautiful, all of you beautiful people, <laughs> T, tantalizing, <laughs> and even Q for quality. Okay. <laughs> Why would a supposedly Christian pastor not only promote someone who clearly refuses to submit to what God has clearly revealed in Scripture, but also allow her to be a part of his church service? Here's Osteen on Stephen Colbert's show. Another bestseller. This one is called The Power of I Am. Two words that will change your life today. So this is the power of positive vision yeah. for yourself. Yeah. We've already covered in other videos that while Colbert claims to be a Christian, he firmly supports and defends behavior that is completely antithetical to what Scripture teaches. Colbert is happy to hear Osteen talk about self-help concepts like the power of I am. But can you imagine Colbert having on his show a pastor like John MacArthur or Vody Bauckham who would talk about the actual gospel, which involves sin, wrath, and hell? Of course not. Osteen is also approved of by Kristen Chenoweth, who said in an interview with the New York Times, but Sundays are, in my view, God's day, and I do try to do something to remember that. There's a minister out of Houston I like called Joel Osteen. If I'm going to Our Lady of Sealy Posturepedic in the morning, I'll watch him at night. And in 2017, Chenoweth teamed up with Osteen to produce The Star, an animated Christmas story where Chenoweth was the voice for Abby, a mouse, and Osteen was the voice for Caspar. Chenoweth, like Mariah Carey, is also an extremely pro-LGBTQ celebrity. Council. Them, they yeah. hate, they, they, they don't hate. They have a hot, lot of hard times with Glee and, you know, the gay characters and stuff. And I, I just want to go. What do you want to tell them? Tell them now. I, want, I just want to say that if Jesus were alive, what would he be doing? Well, he'd probably be accepting and loving people how they're made. And I, I always say this, and it's the, really the truth. Um, if, if being uh, 4'11 was a sin, what would I do? Well, I could wear heels and I could add a wig. You mean being short like yeah, you are? Yeah, I'm 4'11. What would I do if that was a sin? I couldn't do anything about it because that's the way God made it. Right. And I do make no mistake. I am a Christian. I believe in God, but uh, and I don't believe he makes mistakes. So I believe that being gay is not a sin. And in fact, it's how you're made. Again, the only reason why Osteen and Chenoweth could team up to present the Christian message is if Osteen's supposedly Christian message is so diluted that even someone like Chenoweth would be happy to work with him. Here's what late night host Jimmy Fallon had to say about Osteen. Thanks so much for coming on. Hey, my honor, I'm Jimmy. A I'm a big fan of yours. I feel so good every time I watch you. You just put me in a good mood. Well, thank you. I'm very honored that you watch, and it's great to be with you. I'm a big fan as well. The pattern we're seeing is that all these popular celebrities love Osteen not because of his Christianity, but really in spite of it. They don't love that he teaches them about sin and salvation through faith in Jesus. They love that he teaches them how to feel good about themselves, which, of course, is completely antithetical to the actual gospel of Jesus Christ. Of course, there's always Oprah, 
who, like Colbert and Fallon, love his health help feel good message. I am excited about my future. I'm excited about my future. I am victorious. Vody Bauckham would love to be invited onto Oprah's show, but sadly, he has never been invited. By the way, anybody who's ever written a book, and any Christian author who tells you, man, I, I would never want Oprah to hold up my book, they're, they're not telling you the truth. I would go on Oprah's show and let her spit in my face if she'll hold up one of my books so that people will go and read what's in there because prayerfully they will encounter the gospel. And here's Osteen talking about how he's close with Obama and knows for certain that Obama is a genuine Christian who was saved. Another congregant comes to you, hypothetically, and may have happened, and says, you know, I really want to re-elect President Obama, but I've heard he's he's a Muslim. And in fact, in that Pew survey that came out not that long ago, 18% of folks say he's really a Muslim. What do you say to that congregant? Well, I would tell them that I've been with the president at the Easter breakfasts, not five feet away from him, heard him talk about his faith, talk about redemption, talk about salvation. And, you know, I just believe in all my heart that he's a Christian. He says he is. Again, I wouldn't try to push people away. I mean, if, uh, you know, that's just the opposite of what we're supposed to do. And so I would encourage him in that. Osteen doesn't care that Obama is one of the most pro-abortion and pro-LGBTQ activists in the country. Because for Osteen, the gospel isn't about scripture and repentance. It's really just about feeling good about yourself and paying lip service to having faith in Jesus Christ. This is why Osteen can be friends with so many anti-Christian celebrities who, in fact, hate what the Bible clearly teaches. Here's another celebrity, Kanye West, praising Osteen. There's a lot of people in the Christian community that try to give Joel a hard time because when you turn on the radio, he keeps on showing you how good God is. Christians like Osteen and Kanye West are not interested in maintaining the purity of the gospel, but rather care more about attracting the largest number of people to their movement. If you believe that Jesus died for your sins, then you know the gospel. That's the gospel. Don't be telling me Mormons got an extra book and Catholics do this. It's simple. Christians, we be making it too hard for people to come and be involved in this. For pastors who want to be accepted by celebrities and popular within the culture, it's too exclusive and offensive to talk about false gospels and false Christians. But Paul was very concerned about preserving the truth and purity of the gospel, and he condemned false gospels extremely harshly. Here's an image of Osteen associating himself with Lil Nas X, who has produced some of the most satanic anti-Christian music out there today. Again, the theme we're seeing here is that Osteen is so non-offensive that tons of celebrities, no matter how anti-Christian and anti-Bible, are happy associating themselves with him. He makes them feel good about themselves and never confronts them with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Osteen admits that the reason why he is so popular is because he stays in his lane. I think I've been good. I think part of my, if you want to call it success, is I've stayed in my lane and my lane is lifting people's spirits. Like Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes also enjoys being popular among celebrities. Here's a video of T.D. Jakes with P. Diddy, a popular rapper whose lifestyle does not at all match the kind of lifestyle scripture commands Christians to have. And here's Jake specifically mentioning and praising P. Diddy in his church sermon. When a famous celebrity comes to his church, Jake's can't help but highlight the celebrity's presence when what he actually should be doing is preaching the gospel so the celebrity might be convicted of sin and be saved. Speaking of Jake's ignoring the utterly non-biblical worldviews of celebrities and treating them as Christians who are on the same camp as he is, here's what Jake said about Barack Obama. 
Reverend Franklin Graham has made some comments on several occasions as recently as three weeks ago, uh, really questioning the faith, if you will, of the president. He said the president has told him that he's a Christian. He basically said that going to church does not make you a Christian. But the president is on record as saying that he walked down that aisle. He gave his life to Christ. So what do you say to folks like Reverend Graham, who frankly are mudding the water, but other people who are questioning the Christianity of this president? I find it insulting. We didn't question the Christianity of President Bush when he said he accepted Christ. And I, I, I'm disappointed in uh, Reverend Franklin Graham in that regard. I wish he had the diplomacy of his father who brought the gospel to people without being nuanced by politics. Uh, because when you do those things, you offend people that you're actually called to save and to serve. And uh, I, I, I would hope that he would see uh, the rationale uh, in, in apologizing for such statements because if uh, the president's faith is suspect, then all of our faiths are suspect because the Bible is quite clear about what it takes to be saved. And the president has been quite open about his accepting Christ and him openly confessing it before men. And if it's good enough for the Bible, it ought to be good enough for the rest of us. I certainly agree with you on that. For popular pastors like Osteen and Jakes, all that matters is if a celebrity professes faith in Jesus Christ. They don't care at all if the celebrity believes countless things that are completely antithetical to what Scripture clearly teaches. There's also Pastor Chad Veach of Zoe Church, who is closely associated with celebrities like Chris Pratt and Justin Bieber. Really quick, you guys have been all over the place. Carl, how you doing? How you enjoying conference We've so had, far? You know what? We had the, the best day today, yeah. and I think it was outside of like conference hours, yeah. which yeah. is kind of like why I think we end up loving conference. But we turned on some worship music, we prayed, had a couple cool moments, went to Young and Free. In this clip, we also see Pastor Carl Lentz of Hillsong Church, who likewise was popular among celebrities such as Justin Bieber, Vanessa Hudgens, Kylie and Kendall Kardashian, Kevin Durant, Selena Gomez, and Bono. It should be no surprise that both Chad Veach and Carl Lentz avoided controversial topics to remain popular with celebrities and mainstream culture. The New York Times, an extremely anti-biblical organization, even interviewed Veach and wrote a glowing article about him, saying, Mr. Veach believes he can save souls by being the hip and happy-go-lucky preacher, the one you want to share a bowl of acai with at Backyard Bowls on Beverly Boulevard, who declines to publicly discuss politics in the Trump era because it's hard to minister if no one wants to come to church. Jesus is supposed to be fun, right? And watch as Lentz reveals his secret to why so many in mainstream culture love him and his church. But but do you feel like, you know, there you have a moral imperative to, to speak publicly about some of these more controversial issues? No, because we try to be like Jesus. Very rarely did Jesus ever talk about morality or social issues. He was about the deeper things of the heart. What we need is not pastors who are popular with and accepted by celebrities, but rather pastors who boldly and unashamedly teach the full gospel of sin, repentance, new life, submission to God's word, and faith alone in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. What you need to know is that salvation is by faith and faith alone in Jesus Christ. And faith alone in Jesus Christ is preceded and followed by repentance, a turning away from sin, a hatred for the things that God hates and a love for the things that God loves, a growing in holiness and a desire not to be like Britney Spears, not to be like the world, and not to be like the great majority of American Christians, but to be like Jesus Christ. I don't know why you're clapping. I'm talking about you. I didn't come here to get amen. I didn't come here to be applauded. I'm talking about you. Thank you so much for watching into the end. If you'd like this video, hitting the subscribe button helps this channel reach more people with the truth. Thank you so much for your support and encouragement.